we need to sing a lot of songs, I think, that encourage us. And the blacks of our country have said it very well on any number of occasions. In this next song by Mr. Dawson again, I got a crown up into the kingdom. Ain't it that good news? Surely we need to think about the great place of heaven. Up in the kingdom, I got a crown up into the kingdom. <coughs> song that we sing was written by Jester Harrison, another one of our great black composers in this country. Jester played the part on That's My Mama, a wildcat. Played a little bit of foolishness on that particular program. But while you were watching Jester Harrison carry on on TV, you were looking at a fellow that will leave us when he passes from this world. Some great works of art that have inspired millions of people. He has done the background on such movies as Foxes of Hera and so on. Many, many fine pieces of music from his pen. And this one, I want Jesus to walk with me. <laughs>
I might say, brethren, in the sense of the technical word apology, and that word is used to justify technically, brethren, rather than to apologize for. But the reasons that we're doing so much, Dawson, we had him on our campus, had the Christian College Choral Festival up there at Freed Hartman College this year, had about 600 singers and about 13 core groups from Pennsylvania to Los Angeles. My, my, what a fine evening we had. And we have since just built these pieces into our program. We had to learn them anyway. So we figured we might as well get some mileage out of them and do them in our program. The next one is sooner we'll be done with the trouble of the world, going home to live with God. next song, brethren, is In His Kale. 
Now that simply means in the care of the Lord. It's a folkish expression, in the care of his Lord, of our Lord. And I wrote Mr. Dawson a letter after he'd been with us, and I put at the end of it, in his tail. And he knew what that phrase meant. There is a hole at the end of this song. And I thought that was rather strange when I ran into that. It's at the place that an amen would be, a hole right at the end of the song. Well, Mr. Dawson explained that to us. He says that hole means approval of the preceding, which has already been stated. And so you see, really, brethren, it is an amen. That's what it means. In his kale, Daniel, he was a good man, prayed three times a day, and the angels heist their windows just to hear what Daniel had to say. A lot of my Arkansas brethren over here know that word heist. It means to raise it up, if you please. But a lot of the young people in the chorus, when we came across that, said the angels hissed their windows. Well, that's not just exactly what it means, but that's what it looks like when it's spelled. And so there are two or three beautiful arguments in the song for us being in his kale. One day as I was a walking, walking down. Brethren, as you're able to tell, there is a lot of fury 
in this section of the program, and it's not nearly all over yet. The time is probably within 15 minutes of being through, but it's kind of like landing a jet airplane. It doesn't take long to do it, but I would imagine you'd need to be on your toes, you know. The next one we sing is quite different. There's a bomb in Gilead to heal the sin-sick soul. Frank Scarf will do the tenor solo. There's a bomb in Gilead. <laughs> 